Let's check out what Flying Bison has to offer for your Super Bowl party. It is that time of year again. Time to start planning your party for the Super Bowl. I'm here with Tim from Flying Bison Brewery. Uh, Tim, what varieties of brews do you, do you make here at this brewery? Well, we make three core brands. We make Buffalo Lager, Rusty Chain, Aviator Red, and then we've got a seasonal out right now, Blizzard Bach, which is a nice German lager beer. Okay, and what is your most highly requested beer? Rusty Chain. And like why quite is a that? Bit. It's a really versatile beer. It's light enough in body to be a very consumable beer or a session beer, yet it's got enough flavor that it really stands up to and goes with food very nicely. My personal favorite pizza beer. Ah, then there will definitely be a lot of pizza consumed for the Super Bowl. Now, tell me, how do consumers go about purchasing this beer from here or taking it to go? Okay, they can come to Flying Bison Brewing Company and get a growler jug filled. Uh, and they can either bring in their own growler jug or purchase a growler jug here. It gets filled with fresh draft beer and it's good to go. Or they can go to their favorite store around town and find pretty much any one of the Flying Bison brands in their local store. Now, for people that are having parties for the Super Bowl, how much beer should they plan on for each guest? One 12 ounce bottle per person, per beer drinker, per quarter. That's kind of how it works out, and you know, one for the halftime commercials. Just one? Just one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now for the growlers, or actually any of the beer, if you purchase that beer, how long is it good for if they're not consuming it all on the Super Bowl? The, the bottles are shipped very fresh from here, so they'll stay fresh in your fridge for quite some time. Uh, the, the growler jugs, you want to finish them in about two weeks or so, but once you open the growler jug, you need to finish it that day. So if you open it during the game, kind of got to be be finished before the, the gun sounds. Doesn't seem like that would be hard to do. It's a commitment. <laughs> All right, and then where should people be storing this once they purchase it? Refrigerator. Right in the refrigerator. Yeah, it's always good to store it in the fridge. If you like your beer a little less than ice cold, as I do, just take it out and let it rest on the counter for a little while before you open it. Okay, and also, are there certain beers, real quick, that go better with certain kinds of foods? Absolutely. Uh, Blizzard Bach, Aviator Red, with your heavier barbecues, spicier food, hot peppers, that sort of thing. Uh, buffalo lager or rusty chain with lighter foods, lighter snacks, a little more uh, consumable beers. Uh, this looks like more my speed. We'll make, we'll make sure you try that one out. All right, great. I think I might have to take some of that home for my Super Bowl party. Thank you so much for all the great tips. It's a lot of great information about beer. Thanks for coming by. Cheers.